It's our responsibility to conserve and preserve the remaining wilderness areas in Sri Lanka. And we feel that ethical, guided safaris by trained professionals is the way forward for Sri Lanka. Our ancestors who farmed this land actually lived harmoniously with wildlife for thousands of years. And today we share this land with both the rural farmers and wildlife. The ancient Sri Lankan people were far ahead of their time. Their irrigation systems were far ahead of the rest of the world. The man-made water bodies built thousands of years ago now sustain wildlife populations throughout the country. At Yala, the Butua Vava results in the largest seasonal concentration of mugger crocodiles in the world. The second largest land reptile in the world. At Yala, it is this life-giving water that supports such a high prey density for the leopard. And we believe this is the reason for Yala having the highest density of leopard in the world. There's more to Yala than its wildlife. This entire region has a rich history that dates back to several thousand years BC. Siturpavo Temple is actually an ancient monastery that exists inside of Yala National Park. We take pride in showcasing Yala's history and culture to our guests. Much of Yala is actually unexplored and a safari with leopard trails would include these areas. In particular, the newly opened Block 3 and 5 of Yala National Park. We want to try and understand the populations and the densities of species within them. Guests visit leopard trails for the guided experience. We act as interpreters of this land and its wildlife, showcasing every little aspect to our guests. A visit to Leopard Trails is about authenticity. It's about reconnecting with nature. For me, the sheer vastness of mature forest and the exclusivity and the solitude you experience at Wilpatu cannot be matched.